YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Next Level Man. I am back again with a short, um, what a, what a short one, you know. Um, just something I want to talk about real quick today. Um, how's everybody doing, man? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, whenever this message finds you. Um, I just want to give a big shout out to my subscribers, um, you know, my day ones who have been rocking with me since, um, you know, I started posting and um, I want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers too. Um, if you are new to the channel, I just want to welcome you, um, you know, to what we're doing and uh, thank you for taking this journey with me and um, I just want to thank everyone, you know, who truly supports me. And, you know, what I'm doing here on this channel, um, I really do love you guys and I do appreciate you guys, you know, from the bottom of my heart, man. You know, it's so many different things going on on this platform. And, you know, I just think it's amazing that, you you know, you landed here, you know, so I just want to start there. Um, this particular video is for... Uh, the targeted individuals, man, all, the the whole TI community as a whole, is for even it it is for everybody actually. You know, it's not just for the TIs; it's for everybody, for the perps, for you know regular people who have no clue what's going on in society in the world. Actually, you know, this message is for the world. Um. I just want to shed light on something that I don't think people see or understand. And um, I'm just going to start there, um, you know, about this program that we, the targeted individuals that we go through. I just want to shed uh, light or just give my opinion on basically what this thing is and um, you know, what is going on a little deeper than that? Maybe, you know, you guys will agree with what I'm saying or not. I don't know. It's up to you, but, um, this is how, how I feel, you know, um, I've been vocal about this. Um, you know, I've talked to several people about this. I think I might even set it on on uh on the next time podcast but i just want to take this moment and just talk about this for right now um what i think this thing is um you know this whole gang stalking thing this whole thing that we go through is definitely a spiritual attack guys but it's definitely that and it, and it has spilled into the physical realm right but more so than that what i think this is I think this thing is a big game, right? That the enemy is playing with all of us, right? I think that this is a sick, twisted, demonic game of divide and conquer, okay? Divide and conquer, guys. That's what I am seeing every day. You know, and I'm just going to start with this targeting thing right now. But this can be applied to almost everything in life. If we can just open our eyes and just take a second and just look at what is happening. Right. OK, so. Divide and conquer. So. The enemy knows. That. He cannot. Um, he can't be us, you know, like the enemy hates us. Um, actually, I'm going to link a video so that you can see exactly where I'm coming from when I say that the enemy hates all of us as a whole, even his soldiers that work for him. Like he don't, he hates them, you know, he hates all of us. He wants us to be 
to suffer the same fate as him and have eternal damnation, you know, after this life, this short life that we live here on earth is over, right? So he plays this sick game with everybody, you know, divide and conquer, divide and conquer. And that's exactly what's happening. It's happening every day. It's been happening for centuries. Okay. And I'm going to talk about this targeting program because, you know, unfortunately, I have been experiencing this thing since I've been alive. And, um, you know, where I'm at with it right now, you know, um, it's a game of divide and conquer, guys. And, you know, united we stand like that is the the most powerful we could be as uh, as human beings is united. The enemy knows this. The enemy knows. OK, that's why there's all kinds of distractions and barriers and things put in place to turn us against each other like this targeting program. Right. If you think about it. You know, you have the perps over here and you have the TIs over here, right? Um, you have, which automatically, you know, there's two separate entities, two teams, you know, right? You have the perps who work together. They, they target us. They, you know, they have their little communications and they work together to, to target us, right? To, to back us in the corner, to install fear to make us scared um to isolate us you know to destroy everything that we have in our life anything that means anything to us to destroy it to take it and just rip it into shreds and then just tear us a new one and, and to traumatize us into you know so right there you know there there is separation Right. You have the perps on this side. You have the T.I.s on this side. Right. And. Divide it. Right. Divide and conquer. That's what's happening. You know, the T.I.s. Oh, man, the perps and this. We don't like the perps and blah, blah. And then the perps, you know, they run their little smear campaigns. Oh, this one is that. And this. You know, he got AIDS or she got, she's a prostitute or this and that. And, you know, and it's all a ploy to divide and conquer, you know, because once there's that separation, you know, once we're not united, we're divided, you know, and united we stand, divided we fall, guys, like, you know, and you got to think about it, man. We are all people at the end of the day. We are more than just targeting individuals or perpetrators or handlers or gang stalkers, right? We are people first, right? I think we need to grasp that concept and understand that, you know, we are allowing the enemy to just creep right in, divide and conquer, you know, that's what's happening for whatever reasons you believe, you know, and I, I'm pretty sure, you know, the perps don't have a name like they're not like we're team perp, you know, <laughs> team perps out here going to see who we can perpetrate on today. You know, they come up with, uh, you know, creative names like um, neighborhood watch groups or um, citizens on patrol or. You know, they come up with these really cool names to make the perps think that they're doing a justice and they're doing a service of, you know, watching or monitoring or harassing. They, they're they not going to come out and tell the perps like, hey, we need you to harass these guys. And, you know, they come up with slick ways to do it. You know, this divide and conquer thing, that's what it all boils down to, guys. You know, and then we have the TIs over here. And we are broken, we are hurting, we are suffering, we are, we have been slandered, you know, lives have been ruined, reputations, livelihoods, you know, it's, 
and what happens is you know the enemy comes in and he plays divide and conquer right because we turn on each other as human beings as people we we turn on each other you know it's us against them right that's how it seems in the community you know like oh the perps and this and we gotta fight them and we gotta do this and that and it's just like are we adding to the fire like are we adding to the situation are we making it worse by you know allowing the enemy to play psyche on us and you know just slide us in without us even realize that realizing that we are in a sick game of divide and conquer you know if we could just recognize like part like when you have a problem and we don't recognize that it is a problem what happens it persists it persists and it gets worse and it gets worse on both ends you know and we as human beings have to take responsibility right for our mistakes and for our you know wrongdoing in whatever the matter is you know before we can begin to repair and fix it you know it, we're just going to keep sliding into this sick game of divide and conquer now this can be i mean with with everything like even with racism you know the the enemy knew you know we got to we got to figure out a, a way to, for division you know cuz united we stand guys united we stand divided we fall you know so let's let's you know let's trickle on in there and you know, sprinkle some hate over here, hate, 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 right? And, and just sit back and watch these people walk right into it and, and end up a victim of this sick game we know as divide and conquer. You know, you got the KKK, you got, you know, Black Lives Matter, you like, you got the neo Nazis, you got the, you know, you got all these ethnic groups. You know, put in position not to unite, but yet for them to unite, but not for us to unite as a people, as a whole. You know, that sick game of divide and conquer is infiltrating on so many levels, not even just the, you know, with the TI community, you know, even in politics. You know, you have the Republicans, you have the Democrats, you have the conservative, the left and the right. And they, they're coming up with new things that we didn't have the left and the right. That, that's new. They just keep coming up with new ploys to implement this sick game of divide and conquer. Meanwhile, the, the same shadow government is behind all of this. Right. Just ha, ha, ha just the puppet masters just, ha, 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 just watching everybody. You know, turn against each other on this sick game of divide and conquer. You know, and they're sitting back laughing. You know, they don't want us to come together. You know, and I think that's a big reason for this whole targeting thing to turn people against each other. We got the perps versus the TIs, you know, and then I've seen in some cases perps, perping perps, and TIs perping other TIs. They are TIs turning against other TIs now. You know, they'll use whatever it is, religion, whatever it is, they'll get, they took, they went into Christianity and switched it around and made different branches of it and just to divide and conquer. They did that with Islam. There's so many different kinds of Islam. They did that with um, whatever, whatever it is. It's a sick game of divide and conquer, guys. When are, I got a question, guys. When are we going to realize what's happening in front of us? You know, is it too late? Can we not come together as a people? You know, can we not end the madness? Because I know that the power is yours. The power is ours, you know, and they're going to keep implementing these sick tactics of divide and conquer. Right. And I don't know if we're ever going to I don't know if we're ever going to realize this, you know, but it's true. It's the truth. If we can just come together, if we can realize what's happening in front of us, right? We don't have to walk into that same 
lane of divide and conquer. Like we don't have to do that. It's a choice that we make. It's an unconscious choice, a subconscious choice. We don't even realize that that's happening. A lot. I know a lot of people don't, but it's happening on every aspect. You know, like on every anything that truly matters to people. Like they are thinking of a way to divide and conquer. And if we could just realize and recognize that, you know, what we're doing to throw gas on the fire and just make it worse, they're going to keep coming with new creative ways to play this game with us, divide and conquer, you know, and it's up to us to realize that this is happening in real time and to take the necessary, um, uh, you know, to take the necessary um, precautions not to find ourselves in that situation where we are engulfed in the sick game of divide and conquer. You know, I hope I'm. Gonna, I just hope everybody can get that, man. I hope everybody can grasp that, man. Let me know what you think about what I just said in the comment section, man. If you disagree, let me know. Like, if you agree, let me know. Um, you know, start informing people on, you know, things that you see and, and things that you know that can possibly open people's eyes. Um, I challenge you to do that. Um, don't forget, man, Target an Individual Day, August 29th, 2018, will be the first day that we bring awareness to what is going on and unify and for us to come together and you know get the get the word out about this thing man tell a friend to tell a friend um this video is getting a little long i didn't intend on it going this this long guys but this is where we landed and um i appreciate you for rocking with me and, and taking the time out to listen to what i have to say um hopefully it might have an impact on you know the way you see things and you know, life in general, you know, I, we want to make things better. We want to come together. We want to unite. We want to stop this negativity and this sick game that we've been coerced into without even realizing it, without even recognizing it. You know, we all have our different beliefs and we all have our different opinions and we're entitled to that, you know, and I, I would rather for us to come together and have the conversation and not be pit against each other. And this one is that. That one is this. Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, all right. It just creates tension where the enemy can just creep right in and just have his way with us. And, you know, if it's up to me, I'm going to do what I can to prevent that from happening, man. And I encourage you to do the same. It's your boy, man. Next level, man. I'm about to be out, man. But, um, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for rocking with me, man. And, uh, more podcasts on the way, more music on the way, more streams on the way. I'll see you guys on the next one, man. God bless every T.I., man. I love you guys. Peace. You've got a lover. It's done. you got a lover. You're just not where your lover is. Uh, your lover's over the there. The great Meet me halfway and we'll make it to the other side. Hand in hand, woman in there, baby, let's take our time. We ain't making fast decisions, just let love decide. Hey, you ain't thinking about no other guys. No, I just stand inside, just you and I. Hey, I understand that you know about it.